Hi, welcome to Locker Tech TV, the new channel dedicated to all things locker related. Today, we're going to show you how to change a cam lock on a metal locker. So here goes. The first type of lock we're going to be changing is a cam lock which has a horseshoe clip. Now a horseshoe clip is a little clip that holds the lock into place. Funny enough, shaped a bit like a horseshoe with a little lip at the top. We're going to need some tools for this. So firstly, we have our trusty small tack hammer and some long nose pliers. Now, to change this, we simply put the pliers, attach the pliers to the little lip at the bottom and you tap, easier when you're not videoing it, but you just tap the underneath until that comes free. You can then put the cam up into the upwards position and simply pull the lock out. To replace the lock, or to put a new one in, you simply insert the lock in the upwards position again, through the hole in the locker door, put it in the down position, straighten the lock up, and then you just slot the horseshoe clip loosely into the top, ensuring that it goes into the two slots on the side, and hammer it into position. That now works perfectly, and that's how you change a horseshoe clip. Next, we're going to look at a much more simple and effective method, which is changing a lock with a nut. I'm sure you'll agree, that was pretty simple. But if you want life even easier, you could just put in a lock which has a thread and a nut. They simply fit by inserting the lock through the door and using a small hexagonal nut, putting it over the cam, finding the uh, thread, and literally just tightening. You may want to tighten this, uh, I'm tightening this finger tight, but you may want to use a pair of pliers or an adjustable spanner. Um, but again, nice and neat and strong and these actually stay tighter and stronger for a much much longer than the horseshoe clip type. Um, this particular lock is our universal cam lock which will fit pretty much any locker and uh, we designed it from the ground up to be a fantastic and easy to use lock so, uh, so highly recommended from our perspective. Um, sometimes depending on the type of lock you've got you may well have to remove this bar here. This bar we call a cam. They're often, used, often removed simply using a screwdriver like this one or some are attached with a small black nut or a silver nut. Be careful because there are little washers that can come loose underneath but in most occasions you won't have to remove this cam but occasionally you will so uh, again just be careful using tools obviously don't whack your fingers hurt yourself I've done that many times um, and it's not the best or pleasant thing to do so once again thank you very much this is our first video so we are going to be a bit terrible at this but thank you to you one more time for uh, checking us out and uh, hopefully uh, we've given you a bit of uh, information.